Oh! Hey, hey, everybody. This is going to be another episode of, you guessed it, Redneck Gourmet. my brain part was I was trying to sing along with it because I heard very well okay how is everybody doing out there in YouTube land so right now I'm going to start doing the uh, process of doing a little bit of a setup on this thing. Action height is way high, pickups are way high, and uh, you know, just want to make sure everything is good with this thing. So first off, what I ended up doing is I took a micrometer and checked to see what the string size of this thing is. So in case you're wondering, this is a micrometer. And you read things in thousands, so it works out pretty good as far as finding out what the strings are. And these are tens to forty six. So hopefully, you can see that. package from Amazon and uh, something that I ordered that I could possibly use. So I'm going to open this up. Be a little bit of an unbagging. And what I picked up, ooh, it comes in a nice little case too. Oh, that's kind of nice. They sealed it up too. Oh wait, nope, it's a zip tie or zip uh, uh, bag. So if you could see that right there, maybe, maybe not, don't know. Edge fret files. So what this is, very heavy, that's for sure. It's got some weight to it. This is a crowning tool and it's got three sides, one for large, medium and small frets. Um, it's pretty, pretty heavy. I mean, it's very nice, nicely made. I gotta say that, but I don't know how it's going to be for going over here and not hitting the body, but I'll find out later about that diamond grit on the inside of here. Not too sure what, how coarse it is. It doesn't really say, but this is something that I can really use. I like the diamond, I like the diamond ones, uh, uh for fret crowning, but the one that I have, it's a large, and they're like 90 bucks a piece or something like that. So what I wanted to see is, is you know, something different. This got basically four and a half, five stars. Picked it off off of uh, Amazon. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully this works out pretty good. First coat of clear. I still have to clean the front. Now look at that. Back or something, but if the frets are fine, they're level. I'm not going to do a crowning on this thing. I do, however, am going to try to fix the fret ends on this thing because they are pretty sharp especially when you get down to here they get real sharp I noticed that with a lot of guitars get down to the body it's like why did you fix this before you put the neck on so first off I am going to basically take the strings off of this thing like sir why he's flipped over 
Well, at least as much as a kid his age can flip. Now, isn't that the cutest thing? Yeah, but I wouldn't tell him that. He's liable to go ape on you or something. Molly, I don't like you using words like flip and ape. Oh. Oh, I was asked about these pickups, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but both sides of the pickups over here have Allen set screws inside of it. You can raise and lower both sides of the pickups uh, on the pull pieces, and all you do is stick an Allen key inside there and turn them up or turn them down. And right now, they're pretty much level with the, with the uh, pickup tops themselves, so... I'm not going to mess with them unless need to be. So I've got a little bit of a back bow in it right now with the strings off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. Take that back bow out. All right, so truss rod is loose right now. This is what I like about the trap door. All right, so let's see what the rocker says. Rocker. If you can see the black on the frets, the rocker never lies. So, yep, had to do a little bit of fret filing on this as far as leveling goes. So, I just want to take this down just a little bit more, not too much more, just to get these guys to start to skim a little bit more on the tops. And get rid of this edge right here, and that one right there. 